Hi, and welcome to this broadcast. My name is Tom Moore, and I'm a Microsoft Specialist Solutions Architect with AWS. Today, we're going to talk about the new tool, the Microservice Extractor for .NET. In this video, we're going to discuss modernization from the perspective of moving from an older monolithic application architecture to a microservices-based architecture. Let's start off with a definition of what modernization is. Modernization really comes down to the idea of progressively transforming your applications. This often takes the form of embracing more cloud-native products and services, and shifting away from the classic monolithic, one-app-to-do-everything approach. It's important to note that the term progressively is used here. In the majority of cases, the transformation happens over time. Rather than rewriting an application with a Big Bang approach, in most cases customers are taking an iterative approach, modernizing in bite-sized chunks over time. Many applications, especially the kinds of applications that keep businesses running, have been around for a long time. They're typically built with a monolithic architecture because they evolved over time. With everything wrapped up into a single code base, or small number of code bases, were presented with a number of challenges. It's often difficult to bring these applications into the cloud because they're designed to run off a single server. If we wanted to take advantage of a cloud-native database or queuing service, for example, we need to update and test the entire application. By moving to a microservices, each team can build, test, and deploy at their own pace, evolving sections of your application independently. You then gain the ability to scale each part of the application independently based on the specific metrics that are relevant to that particular microservice. There are, however, a number of challenges with any shift to a microservice architecture. We need to first be able to identify candidate code to be extracted into the microservice. We then need to be able to define the boundaries of the code that needs to be extracted into that microservice. Oftentimes, we need to rely on multiple tools to recreate and test the source code. And finally, doing the actual extraction of code requires a lot of manual effort to build the new project, copy the code to the new project, then make changes to the existing project, allowing the new microservice to be called across the network. This is time-consuming and error-prone work. This is why we've launched the AWS Microservice Extractor for .NET at reInvent 2021. This new tool will help simplify this process and make extracting microservices easier. The Microservice Extractor helps you identify candidate code in your application through a visual representation of your classes. The tool then helps you to actually perform the extraction of a microservice automatically. The analysis phase creates a graphical representation of all the classes in your application, including the connection points between classes, helping you to understand how your code is getting called. You can also add runtime call count data to help understand the traffic patterns that your application operates under. Once you have this view, you can use the tool to create groups of classes defining the boundaries of your new microservice for extraction. You can see here screenshots of the microservice extractor in use. On the left, we have some classes that make up two different groups of functionality. These will become two separate microservices. On the right, we can see call count data that can help make decisions about what will make a good microservice. The extraction process will automatically create new projects that contain your microservice code, as well as help to refactor your original code to call the new microservice. In summary, the new tool will assist you in the highly manual process of refactoring a monolithic application into microservices, so that you can focus on the high value results of implementing a microservice architecture. As a result, you can start to phase in changes that will allow legacy applications to be more cloud native, scale better, deploy faster, and be able to more easily adopt new technologies. Thank you.